<sighs> ah, morning, Toga. Toga! Crazy. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm... Yeah, I just woke up. Uh, Izuku, to Toga! What are you doing in Izuku's bed? Sleeping. Why? You have your own room. Because he's so comfortable. Th that That's no excuse. Please vacate his room. Do I have to? Yes, I would prefer that very much. Fine, fine, whatever. <sighs> yeah, very least. Uh, let's get ready for school. It's Toka being said dress, but he's a good. He's trying not to look, but Ingo quickly stops her from fully undressing in front of her son. He's like, Toka, what are you doing? He's like, trying to get a reaction out of Izuku. Her looking back at him, seeing him embarrassed yet wanting to look. He's like, looks like I got what I wanted. So I'll I'll, I'll leave. He's like, Please do, please, changing your room. She glares at Izuku. Izuku, that is not very, uh, <clears throat> what's the word? Gentleman like. Chivalry is not dead. Oh, yes, it is. What would you think that? I have several. Several things to say, but I cannot say it here. <clears throat> okay. EYES, get dressed. <sighs> you don't want to be late for school. <sighs> no, I don't. Susie gets there. This is when all my shows up. Is... Alright, we're doing a Heels vs. Villains. And it is Oraka and Nisuku versus Ida and Bakugo. Bakugo, he is actually excited to take on Izuku, but he's also very cautious. Ida is like, what's wrong? I, he's one of the few people in this school that I know besides Ice Hot that can actually beat me. And he's you're not gonna hold back much. Wait, so you saying he might use lethal force? Oh no. I, I don't. I don't. I mean, if he didn't hold back, I mean, that's the stage we considered when the shit has hit the fan. No, I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't hold back. I mean, he's most likely not gonna. He's gonna break us. Let's just hope the doctor here is very good. Um. Uh, okay. That's good to know. As they begin, there's Bucko. He rushes down there, ready to fight Izuku. But before he can really get all the way there, he hears he is saying, "They're here!" Wait, wait what? As yeah. Bogo wants straight up and looks at a defeated Ida and Otako touching the bomb. Uh, how? Thank gravity girl. Hmm. What? You see, we used her quirk to make me weightless so I could climb the side of the building and just look from floor to floor through the windows. In which, yeah, uh, uh, that's that's not fair. Mm, worked. Uh, we actually had a strategy where both our course actually came in handy, while you were more focused on at least either stalling me or beating me. <sighs> Can't deny that. Good. Now, with that finished, 
let's just get to the USJ, which as soon as it starts, Izuku smells other people in the air. He asks him all about it, but he's like, well, we're not the only ones that use this facility. Are you sure there's no one else here? It's supposed to be me, 13, you kids, as well as All Might. All Might, yeah, he's resting after being reckless as a hero. Ugh, alright. Anyway, as the portal opens up, and Kodagiri, Shigaraki show up, Zuku's like, I knew it! As they get searched from uh, area to area. When he gets to the water, he sees a shark, but he's all too happy to, to take it down until Froppy steals his moment. Which he is grateful to assist, but pissed that he didn't get to take on the shark himself. When it comes to them actually, you know, going up against the villains, he's like, meta. This way, we need your sticky balls. Wait, what? Yeah, we need your balls this time. You have no idea how long I've waited for someone to say that. I just wish it was a girl. <laughs> so help me God, if you don't stop the pervy shit, I will turn you into a girl. Weigh my options. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, what next? Alright. As he does the whole plan where he, they pretty much cover the whole ship with the uh, sticky balls as well as the water. As Froppy jumps, carrying Mineta, and Izuku gives them a much needed boost. Him swimming the rest of the way. When he sees what happened to Aizawa. It's like, what the fuck? But then, he sees Shigaraki eyeing them. He's like, okay, wait, 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 wait what, 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 what am I supposed to do here? I As Shigaraki's hand slowly approaches Sue. Izuku, not thinking, he moves Sue right out of the way and takes the attack. His chest is starting to decay as Sue and Mineta are speechless. Siku having just enough willpower to power through the pain and brace Shigaraki's arm and kick him straight towards Nomu, it catching him and pretty much patting him off his leg. Are you okay, sir? Is yeah, Shigaraki six Nomu on Izuku this time. And Izuku isn't as strong as All Might completely, not yet. But with his randomness and his attacks, as well as him having claws, mixed with the fact that he has a healing factor too, it's a much more even fight. As he is constantly healing, just as a Nomu is, it's pretty much a battle of stamina. Whoever outlasts the other wins. This is giving all my issues. Okay, I am here. Let us deal with these villains. As he and Izuku double team the Nomu, being it. Shigaragi is like, Motherfucker, you cheat! I didn't know we had, they had someone like this in their class. You win this time. As he wants Izuku to actually follow him, but Izuku. For some reason, feels like it's a trap. It's like, don't do it. This voice in his head, he doesn't recognize it until he actually gets a good listen to it. It's, like, it's a trap. It's not worth it. Trust me. Like, so it is you. You're back after all this time. Yes. I can tell you without a shadow of doubt, you are not strong enough to face whoever's on the other side. What makes you think? Because you're still too weak, not like me. What makes you think I'm weak? 
you're not willing to kill. Not like me. I, I don't need your help. You will, just like you did all those years ago. And I will help you, but not without making a deal. We'll see. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will. As the other heroes show up, Shigaraki's still egging Izuku on, but it's not working. Snipe shoots him in his hands. It hurts like fuck. And that's how that ends. Izuku is now being questioned. By Sue as well as when they're like, how did he survive that shit? So, huh? H how are you not dead? Oh, um, I got a healing factor. What? Almost like you do now. Yeah, I can heal for almost anything. Roar! And you did very well when it came to that monster. Yep. Thank you. So, huh, what now? Well, they might come back, so we really should apprehend the rest of these villains as well as get them uh, arrested. But, all in all, very well done, students. Yeah, hopefully next time we can actually do the rescue training. Yeah, hopefully next time you don't... Be so reckless with your power. Uh, uh. And yeah, that's how that ends. USA is over. When it comes to the two weeks, Izuku, while training and spending time with Toga and Inko, he's actually talking to the darker side of his his power. At least the more malicious side of himself. Which, yeah, you could say they don't get along very well. They have conflicting motives, or at least ideas of how to tackle certain situations. While Izuku wants to protect everybody, the other of him wants to just, let's just kill off all the villains. It's that easy. So, yeah, you can see how things don't really work out for them. But now, it's time for the sports festival. And, yeah, it's a lot closer, all things considered. Because of the race, Izuku gets third place. When it comes to the cavalry battle, he does end up snatching Todoroki's headbands, but only earns himself second place. When it comes to the fights, when Shinso does get him under my control, Shinso didn't, didn't know about the evil or darker side of him. So what ends up happening is that version of him takes control. It begins to wail on Shinso terribly until he breaks the mind control. So, sorry Shinso, you brought that upon yourself. Because Toroki, Izuku is not risking it. He wants to win. He's not going to hold anything back if he can help it. Which, Bago knows that look in his eyes. So, well, shit just got real. What? Oh yeah, it just got real now. Wait, as it begins, every pillar, every glacier of ice that Todoroki shoots at Izuku, he just destroys it with all his might and just starts rushing him. When it race, Todoroki, yeah, he, he can do his shit, but in a fight... Izuku has more experience, luckily, thanks to Toga's crazy fighting style, as well as her nimble 
and very flexible way of moving. <coughs> but when it comes to him pretty much giving Toro the whole speech about it being his power, it does mean a lot. Seeing that, yeah, you are now winning this without going full force. Forcing him to use his fire side, in which Digma's hair gets burned. It gets burned terribly. Toga and Inko watching this in the stands, they are scared. Toga was so how me god, I'm gonna gut that icy hot bitch. So what? Nothing. I'm just gonna beat him up. Are you sure that's what you said? Yes. But at the end of the day, Izuku's stamina far exceeds Toroki's. In fact, heck, when it comes to damage, Toroki did more harm to himself when he was just using those ice attacks before. So Izuku does end up winning. Now it's Ida versus Deku, in which, when it comes to speed, yeah. Ugh, Ida can't turn on a dime like Izuku can. He's gonna have to slow down, so Izuku wins pretty much by knocking him out of the ring, by tr le legit tripping him. <laughs> and when it comes to Bago and Izuku's, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Yes, I'm sorry, Bago, but. This is the only. This is the only real way you will be able to see the true gap between us. Izuku, he gets on all fours and rushes at Bakugo, who has actually has his hand out, ready to spark the explosions. Izuku dodging each and every one of them, getting close to Bakugo until he sees Bakugo. Close his palm with his other hand. It's like AP shot. Wait, what? As it blows through Izuku, leaving a chunk of his shoulder gone. Everyone's like, "What the fuck?" As they're about to disqualify Bago, Izuku with his other arms like, "You stop! Don't you dare stop this fight!" Like, uh, are you sure? It's like, yeah. As you see, he's starting to heal. Ooh, okay. Oh, damn. That, that was good. That was... Well done. Well played. So, uh, I knew that wouldn't stop you. So I pretty much got to... Uh, yeah, you're going to hurt me faster than I can heal. I can't believe you actually thought a new move. Actually, so, so on the fly... No, no. I've been working on this. What? Oh, yeah. Compressed explosions. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting to test this out on somebody. And you made the perfect test dummy. As he starts dodging each and every one of Bakugo's explosions. Only thing is, he knows if he gets too close, Bakugo has a clear shot at him. So he keeps his damn distance until he... Starts breaking apart the very arena and starts throwing bits of it straight into Bago's face, distracting him long enough so he can drop kick him out of the ring. And with that, it is over. Izuku is first place as he raises his fist in victory. Bago, though he is upset that he lost, he is proud of himself for giving it his all as well as. Yeah, he actually did some good damage on Izuku. So yeah, he's not muscled this time. But he is still pissed. <sighs> Man, seriously, Izuku, you had me worried. Sorry, Mom, but I didn't expect Bakugo to have that attack ready for me. Yeah, that firecracker really has... Uh, up his game when it came to you, huh? Yeah, he's very determined to beat me. I won this time, but ugh, who knows what he's gonna have planned next time. Ugh. 
That, that had me worried just thinking about it. Just then, the doorbell win rings. Uh, hmm? Yeah, I'll get it. As Ziggy, he sees. Like, okay. Hey, it's it's a gift for my. Uh, huh? It doesn't say. Well, should we open it? Uh, yeah. As is. Wait. Wait, okay, back! <laughs>